What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Figure It Out, Out of the Basement's action figure talk show. I'm Nate, joined with Justin. What's up, guys? And today we are bringing you a little 0.5 episode to talk about the Hasbro live stream announcements, which took place on April 9th, which was yesterday, the day that this video is being posted. Of course, we're just going to be talking about the Star Wars stuff. So vintage collection and black series. I know there was tons of other stuff, Marvel Legends, Power Rangers, all that good stuff. But we are focusing, of course, on our bread and butter, Star Wars. All right, Justin. So let's just jump right into it. Let's start out with the vintage collection for all you vintage collection fans out there. Quite a bit of stuff, uh -huh. honestly. Yeah. Honestly, a lot of it looks pretty dope as well. Mm -hmm. Of course, there was three figures announced. Those being the Shadow Stormtrooper, which looks awesome. The Heavy Battle Droid and the Electro Staff Purge Troopers. So they're kind of taking the six inch black series and boiling them down to yes. three quarter inch. And they, they look decent. They look pretty good. Yeah. And it's uh, they're all gaming greats branded as well. Mm -hmm. So now the gaming greats has finally made its way to the vintage collection. We've talked about that happening quite a few times over the past like year or so. So we've known this was coming, but it's nice to finally see them. And like you said, Justin, I think they look awesome as well. Yeah. And then there was also a vault vote for the vintage collection. And there are some bangers in this selection. There's also some <laughs> right. But the the choices are Ahsoka, Star Killer, like Darth Vader's apprentice look, the Assault Tank Driver, which is the hover tank pilot from Rogue One, Weak Way, even though that's the name of the species, it's just Weak Way. <laughs> yep. Not any character specific name, but and the Republic Trooper from the Old Republic. So Right off so the bat, can... Assault Tank Driver and Weequay <laughs> not going to win. But I, <laughs> I have was about seen to some say, hype for the other three. I I would honestly say, you know, congratulations to Starkiller. <laughs> yeah. I, I really think based on how people f absolutely love him and freak out for him, I feel like it's going to be Starkiller all day. I know that figure is insanely expensive. Right. I'm pretty sure all of those are to some degree. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but yeah, I, I would agree. There's some. There's clearly some winners, and clearly some like, why did you even include this? Yeah, like they even have a snowball's chance in hell of winning. Right. Yeah, especially like the the assault tank driver from right. Rogue One. <laughs> like, what? How are you gonna put that in the same pool as Star Star? <laughs> right. And then of course. We have a new Black Series helmet. Whoa. This is, of course, X-Wing pilot Wedge Antilles. Nice. We love Pop Wedge. Of course. But... Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm not a fan of the X-Wing helmets. I If I was going to get a helmet, it would be either Mando or Stormtrooper. So... Mm -hmm. and, it, it really doesn't do much for me, even though, like you said, we love Wedge as a character, but that is cool for people who are fans of Wedge and want his helmet. It looks like a repaint to me. I could be wrong. I'm not 100% yeah. on that. It, it um, looks how it's supposed to look. Right. So that's so, good. That's pretty much all you need, even if it is, at the end of the day, a repaint. It looks very accurate. And I'm sure the collectors who are into it are going to love it. Mm-hmm. Now, Nate, <laughs> oh, let's get you know what time it is to the six inch black series, our bread and butter here at out of the basement. We knew all of these were coming, <laughs> right? So there was actually nothing new, new unveiled. Yeah. Unfortunately, otherwise announced. these were where's all that, pipeline. Where's that target exclusive Obi-Wan at? Where? Yeah. Yeah, that in that aspect, I will say it was a little bit disappointing that we didn't get to see anything new, new. But at the same time, seeing the pipeline figures, I'm Ooh. I'm hyped. I can't help but yeah. be hyped. Like yeah. they all look so good. 
Yeah, so I guess let's just go one by one. Casca Reeves. Another Mando, another Night Owl Mando to go with Bo-Katan. Yes. We don't have our bows yet, but I imagine she's a great figure. And Casca looks to be a little bit of a reuse of Bo-Katan, which is fine because the armor is the same, so it makes sense. Of course, you got a removable helmet as well. And I just love the blue. She's so blue. She is. <laughs> she is. And you got the like, photo reel. Of yeah, of course, the uh, Sasha Banks likeness, or I, I don't know her real name, unfortunately, but, <laughs> you know, her yeah. stage name, her WWE name. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it, it looks amazing. I cannot wait. This, <laughs> you know, this might be up there with my most hyped pick out of these five. Maybe like number two. Maybe it's at my number two spot. Okay. But, you know, I was excited about something that has to do with this next one, Aura Singh. She's yes. in a Clone Wars box. Yes. I knew you would be so happy about that. I was like, Justin is going to be absolutely hyped that she's in the Clone Wars box. Yep. And on top of that, of course, looks amazing. Mm -hmm. Looks yeah. like she jumped straight out of the animation, but then also she does have a mix of that more realistic look that the Black Series always does. Yeah. Phantom Menace course yeah. live action right look of her and she comes with the sniper blaster yes <sighs> my god it looks and it looks like they you know they got her gangly fingers right so she looks like a banger probably i want to say the most exciting one probably <laughs> probably just because i'm like ah another villain for the clone war shelf i can't yeah. Wait. Another scoundrel, another bounty yes. hunter-ish character. Yeah, you can have true. her with Bosk now. And maybe we get a kid Boba Fett and we get that gang Ooh. going. Dude, that would be awesome. But yeah, she's going to look great. I kind of have all of my scoundrels mixed together. So good idea. Good idea. Nice. I could. She could be next to Cad Bay. It's going to look awesome. And yeah, that was a good thing about th this new wave is that there's a nice spread from right. all Star Wars media. We are we talked about Casca. She's from Mando. Another character from Mando, Q90, is coming to the Black Series as well. And he looks a little like smaller than I imagined. Right. I didn't picture the legs looking how they do, mm -hmm. but. I, I guess. I don't know. I guess I just didn't yeah. pay attention. I thought he had more. small in the packaging. Yeah, he does look small. And I don't know why. I, I'm assuming the figure is accurate, but I thought he had more like protocol droid-esque legs. I could be completely mm -hmm. wrong. I haven't watched Mando season one in a minute. So that kind of threw me off a little bit. Mm -hmm. But the figure still looks great. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. Another one for the Mando shelf. I love how quickly the mando shelf is growing i'm glad we're not having to wait a long time to get a lot of these amazing yeah. characters so i say like, keep them coming yeah i mean hopefully we can get a mayfeld as well yeah along with the devorian and all those other prisoner yes. like rat scoundrel i would love a scumbags. whole set of a whole set of them yeah but <laughs> let's do it yep and of course, safe and cozy Return of the Jedi. We love it. We backed this figure when it was announced. We defended yes. it when people were like, what is that? Yeah. We are going to also get oh. General Lando Calrissian from Return of the Jedi with the cape, with that drip, that yes. swag. He looks so smooth. <laughs> <laughs> I will say the head... Face. Yeah, I'm a little like I'm gonna have to see that in person, and I, I I'm a little bit worried as well about the soft goods cape. Of course, hey, look at that! Hasbro randomly decided to give us a soft goods cape, but I'm wondering, you know, sometimes the cape can go wrong. Yeah, it kind of looks like they're it's gonna be loose around his neck, so hmm. I'm a little little apprehensive about that. And of course, you know, why not just put a little bendy wire in there? Love the bendy wire. Yeah, they would never do that. But 
still the figure looks awesome i love the holster like right on the chest yeah that's i just looking over the details of the general lando design i'm like yes yeah. I, i'm ready for this figure and this is a lando that i'm gonna buy right away and not wait to find on clearance <laughs> <laughs> right yeah this we've said this about every figure so far like oh another figure for the mando shelf another mm -hmm. figure for the clone war shelf but hey another figure for the return of the jedi display we're gonna be saying about about every figure going forward because like we're at that point in the black series where we're just starting to like flesh things out right perfectly yeah let's or continue this nice variety i just love that we're not getting entire waves of from the same movie like force right. Awakens, last jedi right just love rogue one I just love that we're getting such a nice variety from all eras. And another era, the Bad Batch coming up. We are also yes. going to be getting tech quickly <sighs> fleshing out the Bad Batch cast, the team. Yes, yes. And I can't s stress this enough. Pre-order them now. Every single member of the Bad Batch, you're not going to want to wait until the show drops to figure out, well, maybe I'll like the characters, maybe I won't. Just do it now. Yeah. Because I, I have a feeling these characters are going to be very hard to find once yeah. the show releases. I but, could definitely see that being a thing as well. But tech looks awesome. Of course, I, I still only have Hunter from the Bad Batch, but if Hunter's anything to go off of, Tech's going to be amazing, too. Looks to be on that same, like, base body, which is great. It's a really nice base yeah. body. but Comes with all some the tools. Yeah, I was going to yeah. say the tools, all of the other details as well, look very nice. So, yeah. So, I mean, all around, like, great wave. That is a, it is a it's great a, wave. It, that's, a, that's a full waiver. I'll say it. It's a yeah, full waiver. Hasbro has been doing a lot of these full waivers for the past, like, few waves, I want to say. We've gotten, yeah. like, every... Well, maybe not Dark Side Ray, but, like, pretty much a lot of these recent waves have been full waivers yeah. in terms of, obviously, buying every figure out of the out of the wave, and I will definitely be doing that. I already have them yep. all pre-ordered, and so do you. Me too. So... Yep. <laughs> So that settles that. <laughs> yeah. Um, great wave. Uh, some people were disappointed because there was nothing new, new unveiled, like we said earlier, but it's the next wave. I'm still excited to see the official photos of the next wave. Definitely. Definitely. It was still exciting to see them all, like you said. And I think they all look great. So there you go. We're hyped for all of them. So. Uh, real quick, just one last thing. Justin, do you want to give the GTP Toys Tantive 4 update? We have a small update. Yeah, very small update. We decided to contact the founder of GTP Toys because I have heard of some other people doing that and some other people getting a response. So I did it. And we actually got a response. Yeah. And I believe his name, Michael Wheeler, the founder of GTP Toys. He said that they have been experiencing, they feel like the sun is going down <laughs> outside. The, uh, they've been experiencing some production delays and they're expected to now ship in June. Oh, what else did he say? What was the other thing he said? Oh, well, he also said that he would be posting an update to the public today, which is Friday the 9th. Yeah. It is currently, what time is it? Uh, 7 16 p.m it's it's 7 16 there has been no update <laughs> from gtp toys yet yeah um so at least we kind of know that it's delayed until june there was supposedly supposed to be some update i mean there's still some time left in the day i suppose yeah. so maybe the update will be posted but i don't as of right now not looking like yeah <laughs> But, which, is kind of, which is kind of funny. But at right. the very least, we got a response. At least we got something to hold on to. True. Now, I feel a little bit better. I definitely feel I, a little bit better. I definitely feel better. But the question still remains of why they couldn't just say that on their Instagram or in an right. email. Or 
Right. That it really uh, is a head scratcher. <laughs> I was thinking yeah. the same thing. I'm like, okay, so w- why not just literally make that a post? Like, hey guys, uh, sorry, but production's been delayed till June. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. But so yeah, there's the nice little GTP toys update. Yep, and we'll, we'll, of course, we'll keep you posted on this ever-going saga so far. (laughs) But there you go. That is this little .5 episode. Actually, a longer episode than our main episode this week. But that's because we had to edit some GTP toy stuff out. Yeah. So there you go. That's kind of why we did it. We got a response, so we wanted to take some of that stuff out. But, of course, if you enjoyed this episode of Figure It Out, don't forget to leave a like subscribe if you are new we're always talking about star wars the black series here on the channel of course i'm nate joined with justin see you guys later thank you so much for watching and we will see you next time on out of the basement